what should a trader know about the difference in US dollar as a fiat currency and tether on crypto exchange? Yeah, another good question. So uh, it's quite confusing. Tether is kind of a proxy of the real world dollar that everybody will know and understand. Um, it doesn't emulate it perfectly. Uh, essentially, it's the dollar when you're in the crypto realms. So you've got to think about it as you're playing in different bubbles. When you go into the crypto um, uh, zone, uh, there isn't fiat currency. What you actually have is this proxy um, of fiat currency. Now, because these markets are expanding, you get extreme cases of greed and then extreme cases of fear. So what I've observed happens, and this is a great, I'm hoping a great learning that will help many people in hearing this, is that when we have a fear moment, for example, people charge out of their bitcoins, out of their ethereums, out of all their altcoins into Tether. And what you find is that Tether actually overperforms the, the dollar itself because it's the first port of call for that money. So that money doesn't leave to go back into the banking system in the real world and sit in a dollar-based account. It first gets out of the exchange from one crypto realm into something that's meant to mimic a fiat currency. So you actually get an excessive demand for Tether, um, which is disproportionate to what you would get if people were moving their money back into the banking system for dollars. There's tons of dollars. If everybody sold their cryptos and moved into the banking system dollars, it probably wouldn't have a huge tick up on the dollar. But in the crypto realm, the dollar proxy can become over demanded. So you actually get a little bit of a higher beta on Tether versus the real fiat dollar. So in a sell off moment, the, the Tether as a safe haven will be stronger. And in a greed moment, potentially, everybody will be getting out of Tether and chasing the coin. So it could also be weaker. So it can have a slightly higher beta as a result of that. What do crypto traders mean when they say Satoshi? Yes, that is, you did say it correct. <laughs> so Satoshi was um, part of, I don't know whether it's myth, fact or fiction, but we've been sold a story about this incredible Japanese gentleman that's behind the architecture of Bitcoin. Uh, as I say, um, that is hypothesis for me, I don't know, maybe it's all true. But anyway, his name is being given in much the same way as we have Forex, we have a pip, which is the minimal unit of movement on it, and it's the fourth decimal. So if we have the pound and it's currently 1.2359, if it goes from 5.9 to 6.0, we've gone up one pip. That's the fourth decimal move. In the same way, we have a Satoshi, but this is the eighth decimal um, in terms of measurement, usually against Bitcoin. So if you have an altcoin um, and you're measuring it against a Bitcoin, that final decimal that is used is a Satoshi in the same way as you have a pip in Forex.